This is WSUR, and I am Crazy G. I hope I just didn't drop the call, but I believe Mexis is on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hey, you there, man? Yeah, I'm here, man. How you doing? Not too bad. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh, uh, perfect. So, uh, I want to say welcome to the show, and uh, uh, what's going on? Thank you for having me, man. Uh, at the moment, man, we just got back home off the uh, 10 years tour, which was a, a very great tour for us. And uh, pretty much at the moment, man, we're just uh, ready to hit the studio, uh, record some new music, get a new album out, another one, another EP, and, uh, you know, more touring, pretty much, figure out everything. Ah, very cool. Tell us a little bit about Saturate and how the, the band came to fruition for you guys. Um, I mean, the band pretty much, man, uh, me and the old drummer, you know, we came from New Orleans and uh, just kind of moved up here, man. Houston had a really good scene. So we just kind of, you know, started jamming, you know, finding members, you know, kind of took a while, you know, Houston kind of seeing the whole band kind of be like a, you know, see us grow up and shit. So uh, we kind of went through that. We found Jimmy, you know, we got Fernando joining the band now. And uh, I think it's pretty much the perfect lineup that we ever had in the last eight years. You recently came out with the CD, Damage the Memory, which is a yeah. follow-up to your 2010 release, The Point of No Return. Yes. How do you feel it's doing, and what was it like recording this EP? Uh, the EP was probably, uh, I think it's our best record. I know a lot of bands always say their new stuff is better than their old stuff, but I, I think it's the most personal album from our points of view. You know, Point of No Return, man, you know, we were in Mandeville, Louisiana for, for two months living in the studio. And it was it was very hectic, you know, good times, but hectic. You know, with this record, man, I think we've grown so much over the last three years being a band and, you know, being in the studio, you know, recording and writing it. And, you know, that album came by pretty quick, though. That album came out, and within a three-, four-month period, we wrote all those songs. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Compromise and damage the memory are hard, but also heartfelt. Can you elaborate on that for us a little? Songs are very heartfelt, man. I mean, from everybody's point of views, man, we're all kind of going through a lot of hard times, you know. Right. At that time in, you know, in our life, you know. Uh, I mean, the best I could do, you know, you know, from my point of view, man, what I was going through, you know, it, it was just, you know, it's a lot. Of, I mean, I probably can't talk about, but, you know, it was hard times for all of us at that time, but it came out to be the best music. Written. Yeah, they are pretty phenomenal uh, tracks. Any f unforgettable memories with making this CD? Unforgettable? I mean, we joke around a lot, so, uh, I mean, not really. I mean, <laughs> the, studio, the studio was really comfortable being at, man. Uh, we enjoyed it, you know, everybody had a you know, good time, you know, writing and working on it, but... As an unforgivable man, we mess with each other too much. It's, it has to be really major for us to really not forget it. So in other words, and that kind of leads me into my next question, Damage the Memory, uh, was that exactly what you were going for with the sound? Exact, yes, exactly. And our, our sounds, you know, our, our albums, you know, all three albums, man, they're all different big time in their own way. We definitely look forward to everybody hearing this new one. <laughs> ah. I think that's something, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's great all the way around. I, I checked it out. But this is uh, the third release you guys have done, correct? Yeah, this is the third one, yeah. Do you find the process getting easier for everyone in the band? Um, yeah, big, definitely big time, but uh, some... Uh, it's it's a lot easier from our first record, and you know we definitely learned off of each record how to record, just like videos. First time we ever did our first video, I mean we all felt pretty dumb, you know, how they do it, you know, and then we got used to it for the second one. I mean it's a process. I mean it's definitely easier, but I wouldn't ever say the studio is ever easy though. The most easiest songs I would have trouble with. Yeah, and I wrote them. Hey, yeah, <laughs> I, I have problems in this studio, so I know exactly yeah, what what you're definitely. going through. I've gone through everything that you guys have done. It seems that most of your songs have a nice, slow, steady intro. The chorus then comes in full throttle. Is this coincidental, or is this the trademark style the band is going for? Yeah, I, I, I want to say it's coincidental, but I think it's a trademark. I mean, uh, it's just kind of how we write, you know. The more aggressive ones are just more straight up. Uh, it's more our style, I guess. I mean, yeah, I would say it's more trademark. Oh. All right. Well, uh, do you have a few minutes because we're going to actually play the Keep Digging track and then come back to you and uh, just ask a couple more questions if okay. you don't mind. That, that sounds good, man. All right. Cool. This is okay. Keep Digging from Saturate right here on WSUR.
is WSUR and that is ooh, <laughs> that is saturate with keep digging and actually we're talking with Mexis the bass player from saturate you there Mexis yeah I'm here man all right cool yeah see you're not the only one who has problems <laughs> <laughs> right <Hell yeah. laughs> that was uh that was keep digging and actually that came off of your cd point of no return i gotta say that's a great track and i watched the video for it and it, the video is incredible too how do you feel about that song and how how it's done so far uh that, that song that song was very definitely personal for us we're in the studio with that and we were having a lot of issues and uh you know when bands have issues and uh we pretty much just wrote that song from all our <laughs> not getting along at the time or whatever and you know bands always go through that and that was the one song man i mean you know being in this in industry is not really easy a lot of pressures from everybody's points you know but keep digging you know <laughs> how, how surprised were you in the band on it being received by the fans i mean oh uh, Dude, we were stoked by that, you know, people, you know, they took it in quick, you know, right, the first time we opened up with it, it was just very nuts, <laughs> definitely, definitely cool, everybody accepted it. So, let me switch gears here, what what are some of the band's musical influences? Influences, I think everybody has their own influence, I mean, I would say Perfect Circle, Cool, uh, Seven Dust, Muzzin. I mean, everybody has, like, <laughs> bands they like. There's so many. Everybody, you know, right. yeah, yeah, Pantera, everybody, you know, Nirvana. Like, everybody has total different death tones, you know. So many bands, so many great music. I mean, even from reggae to oldies and everything. We're not limited to one style. And that that's so cool that a band can be so versatile like that. What it was like sharing the stage with... M many well-known acts such as Corn, Chevelle, Fighting yeah. the Death Punch, Drowning Pool, El Nino, yeah. Otep, On Point, and not to mention several national tours with your close friends, Flaw. Well, yeah, uh, great, man. I mean, the first time we ever played our big show, you know, it was definitely nerve-wracking. And you kind of, I mean, it gets nerve-wracking every once in a while, you know, when you play. I mean, if it doesn't, then something's wrong, I guess, at a point. But, you know, it was definitely great. I mean, definitely get to meet all the bands that... You, know, you looked up to growing up and finally sharing the stage with him was definitely a cool thing for all of us. Must be amazing to say yeah. the least. Oh, uh, definitely. We definitely love touring, though, too. You know, we're touring with Fall. It was great. And same thing for the 10 years tour. Just two more quick questions and then I'm going to let you go. Okay. 
I see according to your Facebook page that you've already contemplating a fourth album. No title, yeah. no title yet, but any ideas that you could share or anything you could talk about with the new CD? Well, we've been in the uh, works and talking with our friend Christian Gamonino. He's going to be producing it. So that's, that's pretty much where we're at now. You know, uh, We're going to end up flying him from uh, New Jersey to come down here. He was actually supposed to do the last record. Just the timing of everything did not fall in place with their touring and you know our touring. So for this record, that, he's definitely doing it. So sometimes that happens. You can't, you know. Uh, yeah, but we look forward to it, man. I uh, definitely look forward to his ideas, though, too. You know, we love the guys. You know, you know, so. Other than this fourth CD, are there any other plans for Saturate? And when do you plan to actually get back into the studio to start recording? Uh. We, we we had plans of touring like actually in the next week and a half, but you know, stuff kind of changed right now. So, as in, we definitely plan to hopefully get one more tour in before summer ends. And as in the studio, man, definitely by I want to say by uh, September October, hopefully we'll be in the studio tracking the whole new record. I can't wait. I'm definitely yeah. going keep my eyes open for that i just want to you know th that's it for my end and i just want to yeah. say thank you uh for giving thank us a you. call hanging out with me in the g-spot for a little bit here and ta oh, yeah. talking some tunes and actually you know i wish you guys nothing but the best you're you're very thank you so much i love i love your stuff you put it out there and you you just do it and not yeah. too many people can say that and you know, I appreciate it, man. I wish you the the rest of the band members all the best. Hope you guys get bigger than life itself. I hope you gain a lot of new fans on this tour. So definitely, man. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, as we leave you, we're gonna play uh, in your own way. Cool, so, cool, cool. Thanks again, Maxis. Okay. I appreciate you, it. Good luck, and uh, we'll be hearing from you. Okay, definitely talk to you soon, man. Peace, man. Thank you.